Yeah. Actor Jason Momoa and Lisa Bonet decided to end their marriage after yeah. five years. They've been dating for a while. They started dating back in 2005. They've got two kids together. Yeah, they released a joint statement. This is what it says. The love between us carries on, evolving in ways it wishes to be known and lived. We free each other to be who we are learning to become. Mm. You know, it's like that poem. Which one? Fear a butterfly. No, no. Love is a butterfly. If you let it go and it flies, flies back, back to, to you. you. But here's that the was a poem thing. I knew in the third grade. Yeah, but that is true. Let it go. That's that whole thing about yeah. let it go and if it returns. But I do think that a relationship like their relationship um, has went for a long time. And I, I feel like people think that if you don't go all the way to the end, it was a failed relationship. And I actually don't believe that to be the case. Like when I look at them and they had a beautiful relationship, produced beautiful children, mm -hmm. and you know they have that saying like relationships can either be there for a reason, a season, or a lifetime. Oh, yeah. Sometimes it's a beautiful season, sometimes it's a lifetime, sometimes it's a reason. But you know sometimes when we see it, we're like, oh, how bummed out it did. Well, last. that's what I I couldn't believe when you looked on social media. What they say? Everybody was like, yeah. this hurts. This, this one, one hurts. really hurts. Yeah. And it's like, but. We're not in it. You know what I mean? Right, we're not in it. And I also think there is that feeling of, like, who? it, it sounds like they had a beautiful uh, ending yes. to their relationship because yes. they say, like, everything's about how you start and how you end. end. Yeah. Yeah. You know, just like I said, when I would what? read those fairy tales, it doesn't always end that I know, way. and that's the, I think it that's doesn't what always it is. End that way. It's like, who's going to rescue me? Who's going to no, save me? Who is he? And then sometimes I think we, we put ourselves, we, we become what the other one needs. It's like a first date. You know, it's like when you sit with someone for a first date and you watch them. They order what they want always. Yeah. And you're like, um, yeah, do you like chocolate cake? Let's say you kind of like it, but not really. Yes. Yeah, I like it because he loves it. And you're like, so you start to adapt, adjust, and try to fit into the space that he has ready for you. Yeah, I mean, when I had in high school, I once, t a boyfriend said, do you want to come skiing? And I said, yes, I love to ski. And then oh, I God. got home and I was like, oh, no, I don't know how to <laughs> ski. I've never been skiing. So what you did? Well, I tried to learn at the mall. <laughs> yeah. But finally, my dad was like, you have to tell him Ellen. you don't know how to ski. It's like, yeah. you can't just be, be yourself, you know? And frankly, had I said to him, I don't know how to when, ski. When did you, because I feel like knowing you, that you know, you, like you have a very clear picture of who you are. Mm -hmm. You know, and I know that, so it wasn't then, because no. there you were still, what, like, was there a time where you were like, actually, yes. I do know who I am. I don't want this. I do want yeah, that. Yeah, I don't, I mean, I feel like maybe, I mean, kind of early. Early? Kind of That's in good. my 20s. Yeah. Because I just had to, you know? I just had to. And and for somebody like me who wasn't the prettiest or the smartest, like, I had to just allow myself to, to be, be yourself. Me. Yeah. And in your 20s, is imp I think some people maybe go their whole life. Like 20, I want to say 27. That's I'm just I throwing a number away. I love that. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.